Something has been bugging me and today I'm going to fix that. I have two phones. One I use for filming and the other one I actually use as a phone. Now these two were my husband's old phones. And when he gets a new one, I get his old one. And that's a great deal for him. I actually have three, but this one is blue and no one messes with blue. Or is that just me? Now the thing is, they are both black, which is totally confusing. They look like identical twins with a boring black cover. I tap on them and they look the same. I open them and they still look the same. I tried adding washing tape, but that's not all that. Still too much black. I think they are in desperate need of some color. So it's about time to fix that. I'm going to fabulize this one mixed media style. First I'm going to take off the washi tape. Then I'm going to do a quick sanding. I need to scrape off the surface of the case to make sure the paint will stick. Next I'm going to add a coat of gesso on my phone to prepare the surface for more layers. And this is what it looks like with three coats of gesso after drying. Next I have some pretty rice paper. I cut off a piece and because I want the butterflies I'm going to outline them with a little bit of water so they are easier to tear. Then I tear off some pieces to get a nice fluffy feathery edge. And this will give you a really soft look and make it easier to blend those edges into a background. Feathery edges. And once I've torn the pieces that I want to use on the phone I'm going to add them with some collage medium. Just brush the medium on the case, then add the rice paper on top and brush some medium over the rice paper again. The medium is sort of a glue. You can try watered down glue, that could work as well. Just make sure to brush in all directions so you don't get too much stripes. I'm also going to add the small number strips. First look for the best place to add them. Add some of the collage medium and then add the strip on top and brush some medium over it again. Make sure to go over the edges as well. And layering with rice paper is pretty cool as you can see the previous layers through the top layer. And then I put that aside to dry. It dries pretty quickly so this gives me time to grab my stuff. Time for a quick tip. Water to clean my brushes. Make sure to put the water to clean the brushes in a different cup than the one you're drinking from. Then I just grab some colors of paint. I'm going to start with the turquoise and then adding the paint on the case. I need to water it down a bit so the image still shines through. I only want to add a bit of color. I'm just going to mix those colors a bit. I'm going to fill the complete case on the outside with color and along the edges and on the sides I'm keeping the color less diluted. So I'm using it with just a tiny bit of water. And I go over the different colors a little bit to blend them. And when you're working wet on wet blending is really easy. And if you want it a little bit more blended, then just pick up some more water. And make sure to also paint the sides and along the sides and along the edges I want a little bit more of an opaque color. As well as a little bit more of a deeper and darker color. And I'm also having some fun just mixing up those colors. And once I have the first layer on, I'm going to let that dry. I've added some new paints on my desk and I've also added a darker color. And now I'm going to deepen those colors a bit. Adding another layer, see where I want a bit more color. And towards the inside I want to dilute it a little bit. Just pick up some water with your brush and then you can easily smooth out that paint so you don't get harsh lines. And I also want to make sure that the image and the texture of the rice paper is still visible through all those color layers. And I'm going to make those edges a little bit darker even. And this will create some depth as well as it will make that image in the middle, my centerpiece, pop a little bit more. And this is just all about layering, it's fun. So just take your time. And then I'm letting that dry again. And here's the part where I tried something and I kind of mucked up because this was way too dark. So I'm just diluting it again. I wanted some sparkle with some pixie powder. And this one is way too dark, so I'm removing it again. <laughs> And then I tried another color and that one is way too brown reddish. <laughs> so I'm blotting and diluting that one again as well. And while I was adding and blotting and adding some more, I saw I got a different color. So I'm just adding it a bit along the edges, but in the middle it was just a little bit too much. And next I'm trying pink and this one is way better because it's so much brighter 
and a wee happier color than the previous ones. So I'm going to add that in a bunch of places and this will give you some really pretty sparkle. And when you dilute your pixie powder with a bit of water, it's basically just a shiny sparkling watercolor paint. More drying time, this will only take a few minutes, but look at that sparkle and shine, isn't that pretty? Then I'm going to open up my flake and glitter glue and I'm going to add it in various places on my case. I'm going to add some along the sides and a little bit in the middle and this is just a feeling thing. Just go with the flow. You can use it to accentuate something but this layer will cover what is underneath so make sure to keep that in mind. I also have that glue with a little brush and I'm brushing and spreading that glue a little bit more. So the layer is a bit more smooth and I can add some tiny details as well. And now sparkle, we most definitely need some sparkle. And here we go, some sparkle also in pink. I'm adding it with a spoon so I can place it in certain places, I don't want it everywhere. Trying to remember about where I added that glue. And then I'm going to flip the case over in one turn to shake off the excess so it doesn't slide all over the glue and you still have it everywhere. And next I have some Aurora flakes. And this is going to add some more sparkle and shine. And this is also the time where I'm making quite a big mess. Make sure to stay clear from open windows and fans that are working. And playing around with these flakes is just messy. And if you don't like messy, then just use something else. I really love the sparkling effect of these flakes. I'm going to brush off those flakes with a nail brush. And that will take away most of the excess flakes. And you can put the excess back in the jar and you can use that again on another project. I cleaned the desk and added some paint. I want to tone down the brightness of the pink a bit by dry brushing with one of those colors. So I dip in the paint, I wipe off most and then I'm going over all the flake areas. And this will also help to bring those colors together. So it's all going to be part of the background. And because I'm just adding a tiny bit of paint, the shine and the sparkle from the glitter as well as from the flakes will still be visible. They only are a bit more blue-ish. And then I want a bit more of that sparkling pink from the pixie powder. So I'm just adding a tiny bit more. Just some pixie powder with water. And I'm going to let that dry again. Next it needed some white. Of course it needs some white. So I'm just flicking that on with my Posca pen. And adding some white is always a great way to lift your other colors. Especially when you're using some darker ones. And then I wanted a bit more of a focal point. So I cut some butterflies out of the rice paper and I'm going to add those on top of the case. First I check where I want them and then I'm going to glue them in place with the collage medium again. First a layer underneath and then a layer on top as well. Make sure you go around the edges too, so they stick and stay put. And to make sure all these luscious layers stay in place, I'm going to add some high gloss varnish. And it took me one, two, three coats of high gloss varnish to get this gorgeous, shiny, sparkling and smooth result. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun customizing something, anything, and make sure to keep on crafting.